I'm Jen, um, my sister Stephanie, and my brother Britton here on behalf of the family. Thank you all so much for being here to help us celebrate the life of my uncle. Um, just in case you're wondering, I put him in a humidor. So he's here um, with us. I want to say thank you so much to Ricky for all the work that he did to help us make this possible. Like, to all the musicians, thank you all to being here. Uh, the food, please eat, we don't want to take it with us. Um, drink, be merry, remember my uncle. Thanks. Jay Tarsus by sliding his resume under Jay's dinner plate. And he may not have had any kids, but he was a smash hit as Uncle Mike. When our boys were toddlers, he would lean close and ask them as if this were a very serious issue. You first. And Hayden, who's the oldest, still sings to himself Mike's remix version of My Instructions when baby Aiden would refuse to get undressed for bed. And Mikey would sing, sit on the sofa and take your pants off. Sit on the sofa and take your pants off. <laughs> and nobody was funnier at hybridizing high and low culture than Mike. One of my favorites of those bits was his rendition of the three tenors version of Led Zeppelin's Immigrant Song. His comedy was politically incorrect, but his politics were progressive. And when push came to shove, you will remember he took no shit from anyone in that regard. No doubt. A lot of you remember, may remember know this story already, but I still cherish his story about being in a, some troglodyte's U.S. history class in high school and having to sit through a whole class on December 7th in which the teacher encouraged everyone to go around the room and say what their fathers were doing on that day 
by the news that come in about Pearl Harbor. And Mike had been the only Japanese American in the room and had endured any number of kids talking about how their dad had resolved then and there to go wipe out the Japs. And when it was finally Mike's turn to say what his dad had been doing immediately after Pearl Harbor, Mike said, my dad was flying home from a job. Because of Mike, I call anybody who cuts me off in traffic, Biff. As in, what are you doing, Biff? Because of Mike, I call every friend who I go on a road trip with, Bosco. As in, crank the AC, Bosco. Because of Mike, I try to remember the crucial importance of generosity and loyalty. Because of Mike, I try to remember that bringing joy and kindness are two of the greatest achievements anyone could manage. And those of us will never be the kind of genius that those achievements that Mike was. We'll always be completely grateful that at least we got to see such a genius at work. Here's to you, Mike Tanaka. Thank you, Jim. So, that opportunity will continue between each band. So, get your nerve up if you need to. How you doing, Manny? Oh, hey! So, Mikey Blues was fairly well demonstrated, I would say, by Paul Clear Blues. Our next segment is going to be our next segment is Jazz Mike so right here at Emmys Mike started a little experiment with a trio and uh, that trio he called the low key Three and uh, the Loki Tree Three have uh, reinvented themselves with the able assistance of Mr. Bill Bellis Jacarelli. So he's setting up. We're giving him some time to set up, and uh, that's how we'll start the jazz segment, and it will evolve from there. <laughs> 